We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New York Tyrants go up against the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the channel now. Hey, oh, man. <laughs> hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. It's a beautiful day for NFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said, how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. It's a glitterception! What's that? A fabulous... He's not going down. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Man, what a hit that was! Okay, back And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey. Didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Sounds like new every day. Oh, he just got crushed! Third down and, well, good luck. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. morning and he's off to the races hey man nobody can touch me with eyeball i take all you mutants out that's right hey what you talking about Bye. and it's 
first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. Did you? Little on the nose, don't you think? That sure he could go all the way. The ten. And they're catching up. Joke, job, no something. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. And this is a first and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Uh, when the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. They run it for a yard. <laughs> they get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. And the worm's got it from Grim, or did he just crap up, you think? Well, you're just talking a lot of crap right now.
And it's first and ten. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. set up the offense looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life he is but he's got no choice <laughs> and it's first and ten don't worry if he shots in it oh and he fumbles the ball on that hit when you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the top Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor and it's first and ten any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for god's sake it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight yeah, what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run no doubt about it that guy is dead he says, I'm taking you with me. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. 
And Burn Returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a Burn Returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this... One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. First and ten. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> First and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than that. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. Second down and six. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch to... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Has lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, other than the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. 
Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? They used their second time out, but they are running out of time. Uh, a bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh -huh. Defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Pow with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of that. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And that'll bring up second and one. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. And that'll bring up third and one. No more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and six. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outfit. And he's going to have to boot this one halfway to hell. And the kick is gone! In your face, stupid! <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... E and he breaks away! Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Second down and ten. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. 
adversary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but what and he punched his way out of that tackle. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. And that'll bring up third. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to lose. Oh, with the brutal hit. Oh. Yo, seriously, man. You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he's off to the races. The 20. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bet. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can... And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other... Hey, Bricks, you were hit more than a few times like that in your career. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. First down and one. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and two. Second and three. And that's another turnover for the defense. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. In a shower of blood and guts, the Malice Hellboys send the opposition straight to hell. They win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. I'm a hot I'm a hot
Quattro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...